Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you. You get fairy dust. I get fairy dust. Emily gets fairy dust. And it's time for another video about complex PTSD from surviving to thriving. It's true. Thriving. <laughs> um, Pete Walker, who is a genius and a hero. Um, I'm on page 13. We're going to talk about the four F's and I think it's worthwhile listening to him describe what happens. So a fight response is triggered when a person suddenly responds aggressively to something threatening. We kind of get that. A flight response, get away, get away, is triggered when a person responds to a perceived threat by fleeing, physically fleeing, or symbol. This is really important because I think flight people miss this. I don't think flight people get this. <laughs> So it's really, really, really important, and I'm going to figure out ways to get you your information uh, so it'll click for you. Flight mode, flight trauma response, when um, it, it can be symbolically by launching into hyperactivity. So doing a bunch of shit, getting a lot of shit done, busy, busy, busy. So that's how you symbolically flight mode, flee. Freeze response is triggered when a person realizing resistance is futile, gives up, numbs out into dissociation and or collapses as if accepting the inevitability of being hurt. And a fawn response is triggered when uh, a person responds to threat by trying to be pleasing or helpful in order to appease or forestall an attacker. So um, what he says is that traumatized children off often over -gra gravitate to one of these. And my experience has been that I, I see people over gravitate to two of them, but use them all like over gravitate to two, to one or two. So we'll throw that in. So one or two of them is your main mode. Um, but you do use the other ones. I have used them all and we all use them all. We're not, and, and one's not better than the other. <laughs> we get competitive with our trauma responses um they all have their suffering they all do they all have their suffering they all have their pain and they all have their uh gifts as well um because it's not an accident that these i think of the responses as choosing us you know whatever like the mix with my personality um my in infj ism that I, of course, like fawning, that could be a thing to do. <laughs> and freezing, I think more, more often than not, uh, to this present day, uh, decides to come get me. Like it's not a choice to freeze. Um, okay. So, um, it's, it, his language it just slays me it breaks my heart when i when i read his words um it, 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 i one of the things one of the things about resisting reading all of it is that most of us do not think we had childhood trauma most of us might even say we had a great childhood most of us can't reconcile that we, that our parents were bad. Or if we do, we say things like they did the best they could or, or whatever. Um, but I could handle it. You know, I'm thinking about, I, I never thought this, oh, well, maybe I did think it, but you know, I've heard people say who were spanked or beaten, um, say, that they deserved it. Like say that, oh no, I needed that. Like I was a bad child or something like that. And when they remember back, they think that, they think things like that. 
we are so wired to not know that we have CPTSD. Like we're so wired to know, I mean, we're, what we, it, it's, you know, like mine wasn't that bad. And the thing is, it might not be that bad, but here's the deal. It's like, what are we gonna do? Like, I'm fucked up, I'm freezing all the time, I'm co fucking codependent as fuck. What am I gonna do with that information? Where did that shit come from? That's not normal. <laughs> Those things aren't normal. So where the fuck did it come from? A lot of people ask me, especially on TikTok, but what if I didn't have I have a bad childhood and what this this just feels I'm going to be mean to my parents and all I I, I really want to let everybody off the hook like you don't have to think that you have a bad childhood like you don't um, you don't have to think somebody was bad you you don't have to think any of that because the goal is to heal so what I always want to do is like what's fucking helpful. So if it's helpful to, you know, say that you had a great childhood or whatever, and then dot, 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 but I got all this shit, so I'm just gonna heal through this book anyway, even though I don't believe this, that's fine. Um, I like to say, because I think it does something different in our, in our psyche. When we say, do you have childhood trauma or not, it's like, it feels threatening, that feels icky, it feels mean, it feels um, I'm making shit up, like that, that whole thing. But if I say, did shit go down for you as a kid? Like, did some shit go down? A home, school, siblings, whatever the fuck, did shit go down? That's childhood trauma. Like, so you don't even need to worry about it. And you don't, you know, let's unhook the thing where I said it's childhood trauma. I'll just say, if you just wanna say shit went down, cause you can give me like 10 examples of shit going down for you as a kid. That's traumatic on children. Have you looked at children lately? They're little. <laughs> They're little, they can't handle this shit. <laughs> like it's a lot, it's a lot. And um, you know, sometimes I think about some stupid thing I did when I was 16 and I do remember thinking that I was an adult, like I, I, that I could handle this or that I could do, you know, like I truly thought, and then when you look at what a 16 year old looks like, I mean, she's a fucking child. Um, no disrespect to anybody 16 years old, but still like it's, you know, we were little, shit was hard for us. So please know, please know if this stuff resonates with you, like if you live like hyper vigilant, vigilantly, if you live like waiting for the other shoe to fall, like if you live like that, like you can, you can take this path with me. Like you can take this path with me. This is a path that saved my life. Um, like, like you, you get to heal. Trauma doesn't get to win. Or if shit went down and that's it, the shit doesn't get to win. The shit doesn't get to rule your life. Because with those trauma responses that I mentioned and that we over gravitate to one or two of them, we get locked in, we get locked in. And so if you're mad at yourself for stupid decisions that you made when you were like 18, 19, 17, 16, 17, 18, 19, or your fucking twenties, like my fucking twenties were <laughs> stupid choices because I was locked in and I was making choices from a psyche where shit went down and I didn't, I didn't know that it could be different. If I had known it could have been different, I would have been working really hard on making, making that happen. Um, I know you, if you're on whatever number this is in, in order, like if you're on this one, this isn't the first one. So it's like, you know, y you don't need to be convinced or maybe you do, maybe someone does. And so, um, but this is shit is real and it fucks up kids psyches really bad, like really, really bad. And so what we do, cause here's like, I want to live. I want a chance to live. I want a chance to experience 
the joys of life. I want to experience even the highs or lows of life, but without being locked into my drama responses. So um, I hope that's helpful. Uh, yeah, we, we, you know, we. This is this is the deal. <laughs> this is the deal. Also, you know, the other thing to think about is it's so, so we read before that it's contempt. So contempt for children causes childhood trauma, but also emotionally being abandoned. So emotionally, having no emotional support. So, you know, and, and people will say, well, that's just, that's just the way my mother was. And that's fine. She got to be that way. But unfortunately to a child's psyche, it's not great. Like it's not, we, we, you needed more. So no permission granted permission granted to say shit went down and I just, I, I need help. And this might have answers for me that I haven't been able to find until now. And so you have nothing to lose. Like you have absolutely nothing to lose. So I say shit went down and that made you have CPTSD <laughs> and you're gonna fucking heal from it because you want a chance to live a full life. All right, I hope that's helpful. Love you, bye.